It is your boy Dylan and I just made a you know lengthy video about the state of the Dolphins team and the lofty expectations and so on and so forth and all the bullshit that goes with that. I want to make a quick video because there's this other article in this uh, news report that came out. Um, it's NFL in general related and it comes after you know the news there was a, a big deal made yesterday about the fact that Former Dolphins right tackle Juwan James, who currently plays for the Broncos. Uh, he had signed with them in free agency a couple years back now. Um, he was doing a, a workout on his own and got injured. I believe he might have tore his Achilles. He tore his Achilles. And uh, so now there's all this talk and conversation about whether or not he should be paid because he got hurt working out on his own. Um, and in fact, the NFL has just released a memo today, NFL issues memo regarding workout injuries contracts after Juwan James incident. In light of Denver Broncos offensive tackle Juwan James suffering a torn Achilles during a workout away from the team facility, the NFL sent a memo to teams regarding the financial implications of such setbacks. Reporter Aaron Wilson shared the memo in which the league made clear teams are not obligated to provide salary con uh, continuation during the year in which the injury was sustained if it happened away from team facility. I mean, it's a shitty, capitalistic, greedy, piece of shit thing to do to begin with, but especially in the age of COVID when, you know, it's kind of a smart idea to stay the fuck away from people. I mean, it, it's even more super fucking scummy. Um, you know, but it's not fucking surprising because the NFL is just a giant corporation that obviously does not care about the health and safety of players. It doesn't care about the quality of the game. It doesn't care, care about the health and safety of the fans. None of that shit. All they care about, literally the only thing they care about is profits, how much money they can make, and in fact, all the ways that they can save money. Uh, at every fucking, you know, opportunity, you know, every little loophole, every little tiny way that they can figure it out. As for Juwan James, ESPN's Adam Schefter explained his contract told last year, so he was playing under his 2020 contract this year, which had 10 million guaranteed for skill and injury and another 10 million in 2021. So it's a 20 million uh, potential torn Achilles injury today. James opted out of the 2020 season amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes was among those who reacted to the developments. Uh, and he says, so they are going to take his contract for working out in the off season with a bunch of question marks. Yes, they are because they're scumbag sacks of shit and they only care about their fucking money. Um, and, and you know, then if you want, if you want to go start getting into, oh, but you know, cap space and blah, 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 you know, well, I just don't think money should exist. I don't think money should be tied to anything. I don't think it should be tied to the way people live. I don't think it should stop people from being able to do anything that they want, getting the best of the best, all of that shit. But that's a whole nother conversation. The NFL did not include any new information that was unknown in Wednesday's memo. In fact, Pro Football Talk's Mike Florio reported such a rule has been in place since 1977 and suggested the memo was more of a message to the league's players association as it fights for virtual activities this offseason. So in other words, of course that's already been in place because they've been a corporation for years and years and years and have only ever cared about that. So of course that's already been in place. But what that means then is, is they made a special point to go out and say that to people in light of this incident so that way they can make sure to fucking, you know, hold on to as much money. $20 million, it's a lot of money. Uh, anyway, the majority of teams have already made clear they will not participate in voluntary off-season workouts in person this off-season. Such workouts were virtual last season amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And Mary Kay Cabot of Cleveland.com Cleveland reported the NFL PA said there was a 23% decrease in missed time injuries and 30% decrease in concussions last year without the workouts and preseason games. But what about for the rest of the season? And what about the soft tissue injuries? Okay, so maybe there was, um, you know, a decent percentage drop in that, but that's because they literally weren't doing anything. They physically could not get hurt because they weren't there. They weren't smashing into each other. So that makes sense. But what also makes sense is the drastic increase 
and soft tissue injuries, particularly with things like Achilles and ACLs, MCLs, etc., which we saw an ungodly amount of last year, not to mention just injuries in general. There was so, you know, and that's such a bullshit framing because they, they point out just two parts of the entire injury picture, right? And you know, it's not like they disappeared entirely 23 and 30 percent. You know, that's a good uh, a good percentage, but um, it's only because of the factor of the completely missed time. Right. And while that is true, the overall net difference was an increase in injuries. Right. There was so many injuries last year. It was ungodly. Anyway, NFLPA Executive Director Damari Smith suggested in, in that same report that there shouldn't be a mandatory minicamp. However, the league's member underscores the risk for players when it comes to working out away from team facilities. If they suffer injuries away from facilities, it could have significant financial impl implications. Why? Who the fuck cares, dude? And again, especially, especially in the age of um, COVID, right? when social distancing and kind of stay into your own devices is actually an extra good thing but who the fuck cares bro right and of course it's all about liability and it's all about it's all about the ramifications for the franchises and for the nfl as a whole right that's all they care about all they care about is is how are they affected and how can they make sure to lose as little as possible? Um, so it's not just the money, right? Like, if uh, it doesn't even have, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if it's an important player or, or, or not. Um, although the ramifications certainly are uh, much higher, both financially and, you know, the impact of the team if it is a, you know, prominent important player. But. Um, you know, just, I don't know. Fucking who cares, man? Like, it's so fucking stupid. Let them do their shit, man. It's all, it's all about fucking liability. It's all about liability and making sure, because then they need to be able to make sure that, you know, when those teams do lose players, uh, they can, you know, they can recoup that money so they can make sure to fucking, you know, get other players so that way the season goes on, et cetera, et cetera. And then, and then also maybe even pay somebody cheaper so that way they don't have to dole out so much cash. It's so disgusting. And, uh, but you know, it's not surprising. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspectives. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell if you wanna get the alerts, share my channel and videos with your friends and family, leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. Of course, as always, follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fizz up.